Hey everyone, this is Lindsay Hancock, and today I'm going to show you how to do this cool pop art makeup look that was inspired by Roy Lichtenstein. So I've already styled my hair and I'm spraying it now with a spray on color. I'm starting with a gray base so that the yellow will show up, and then I covered it with yellow after. Now I am covering my face in a white, just a simple white face cream and blending it in all the way up to my ears, down my neck. Make sure you blend it really well. You can use any kind of brush you'd like. You can use your hands, whatever works. I like to use a brush and then use my hands to kind of make sure it's all blended even better. You can go over it with another layer too if you want it to be a little bit darker if you notice that it's not as, um, as thick as you want it. You don't want it to be thick. You want it to be very even, but you want to make sure that it, you know you have enough pigment and an even color. And then I'm going over it now with a little bit of a contour. I'm using um, kind of like a mauve tannish color to bring in my cheekbones a little bit. Continuing to darken my cheekbones around the crown of my forehead. Now I've gone over my eyes with a bright blue eyeshadow and I am lining the bottoms of my eyes with a white eyeliner. That's gonna make them pop and give them that kind of pop art look. Now I'm taking a black eyeliner pen and I am drawing on some tears. This will be the outline. I'm filling it in with a bright blue face cream. Now I'm going in, I'm doing my eyebrows. I'm just using a black cream makeup here and then cleaning it up underneath with a little bit of white. Now I'm drawing in a crease to make it look a little more exaggerated. Doing my other eyebrow here. Some bright pink lipstick to make those lips pop. Now I'm taking a black cream and I'm going in and really deepening all the um, lines in my hair to make it really pop out and give it that comic book effect. I'm going to draw a line around my uh, chin and the bottom to make it really start to get that cartoon look. Now I'm going to set it with a little bit of powder so that it doesn't move around. I'm just kind of cleaning everything up and now I'm going to take some duo eyelash glue and I am sticking on my rhinestones. Now I have to do this one at a time. It's a little tedious. Definitely requires a little bit of patience, but it will be worth it. And the duo eyelash glue is the best that I've found. It sticks really well. You might have to put a little bit on the rhinestone and let it set for a few seconds and then stick it to your face. I find that that's the best way. And just make sure you let them dry really well before you move around too much. I'm going to start with the blue ones on the other side. You can use any color you want. You don't have to use red and blue. This is just kind of the colors that I chose. You could do your own version. And I think this took me about an hour to glue all these onto my face. <laughs> we sped up the process a little bit. Continuing down towards the jawline. Almost done. Now I'm adding some bright blue ones to my tears and some black ones to my eyebrows. Okay, so here's the final look. It took me about two to three hours to finish this from start to finish. In the description below, you could see all of the materials that I used and also where you could find them. Here are some amazing photos shot by my very talented photographer friend, Lisa Boyle. Make sure you check out more of her work in the link. And also make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram as well. I have many more amazing videos coming soon, so stay tuned.